Hi, I'm Baynard, and today we're looking at a history of Wonder Kids throughout Football Manager. We're taking a trip down memory lane and looking at all the top rated Wonder Kids from FM 11 all the way through to the current FM 22. Wonder Kids are those people under the age of 20 with the highest rated potential. Now, don't forget, ability in Football Manager is a range from 0 to 200. 0 is given to those numpties that have never seen a football before, while well, those rated 200 are way better than Mbappe and Lionel Messi. If you want more information on current ability and potential ability, why not check out this video now? Now it's important to note that potential can either be hard-coded or it can be given in a range. Today we're purely looking at those top tier wonder kids, those given a range of negative 10 or in common language between a rating of 170 and 200, effectively world-class players. Now that's enough of an explanation, let's jump in the boat and sail through some memories. The first wonder kids on our list are all the way back from FM11, which means they've pretty much played their full careers out by this point. The reason I chose FM11 as the starting point is because that's when Football Manager changed its definition of a top tier wonder kid. Before this stage, there were up to 10 top tier wonder kids each year. However, they made a massive change for the FM11 version and the number of wonder kids dropped to sometimes even zero top tier wonder kids at a starting position. Without further ado, let's jump into FM11. FM11 had one top tier wonder kid who is still currently playing football. The current ability of this player now is 143, well below what Football Manager expected them to get to, which was between 170 and 200. And of course, this player is Aaron Ramsey, who, to be fair, has had quite a successful career, particularly early on before injuries and the like impacted what he could do. If you look at his history, for at least a couple of years, he was a starting Premier League player, making very strong contributions to Arsenal for the 2011-12 and 2012-13 season. However, since that point, you can probably only argue he had two near complete seasons in the 14-15 and 15-16 season. However, injuries and the like have limited his ability to get on the field since then, recently having completed a loan move at Rangers, and it remains to be seen where he'll be playing his football in the 2022-23 season. So that was FM11, there was only the one player. Now you'll be very surprised to know that FM12 also only had one player with a top tier potential ability, and that player is, drum roll please, Aaron Ramsey. I'm not going to repeat myself. He's had a successful career to date, however, injuries got the better of him and he never reached that top tier world class standard. He still, however, was able to be a top tier professional. Now, Football Manager 13 is the first year ever that we never got anyone in the 170 to 200 category. So what I'm going to do is show you the next three best options. Those with a negative nine rating, also with the highest current ability in the FM 13 game. The first player on that list has a current ability of 141 in the FM 22 game. It is a goal keeper. His name is Bernd Leno and he is the starting goalkeeper for Arsenal. He's had eight German caps. He's had a very successful career to date, amassing 233 games for Bayern Lavik and over 100 games for Arsenal already. Not someone that you would call top tier wonder kid, but again, a very, very successful top tier player. The second player to be an FM13 top tier category is a player that's been talked about with lots of potential his whole career. His current ability, 141, kind of implies that he never got there. And it is, of course, Isco, the man that's been at Real Madrid for what feels like forever, having amassed over 230 appearances already. The attacking midfielder is much maligned for never having reached his full potential. With 38 caps for the Spanish national team at the beginning of the save, he is a very, very good player. As you can see, a first team player for Malaga and Real Madrid for a number of years. However, his appearances have dropped off in recent seasons. The number one player in FM13 is arguably the first player that has reached near a world-class standard with a current ability of 178. It is, of course, Belgium's number one goalkeeper and Real Madrid's number one goalkeeper, Courtois. Fantastic, fantastic performer at the top level of the game, having performed very strongly for Atletico Madrid, Chelsea, and now Real Madrid. And of course, nearing 100 caps for the Belgian national team. FM14 seemed to play catch up on FM13, with three players with a top tier rating. The first is the worst on the list so far, with only a current ability of 132, which means he's probably not even Premier League quality anymore. This is of course, Eda Belanta, the Colombian international with eight caps, currently playing for Club Bruges. As you can see here from a Man City perspective, he's only a two-star rated player, having played 150 professional games across River Plate, Basel, and now Club Bruges. Honestly, a disappointing career for this wonder kid. Second player on this list is a very, very good central defender with a current ability of 163. This is, of course, Marquinhos. Apologies for any mispronunciation issues. Currently playing for PSG, having already played over 200 games before the start of the save. Central defender or a defensive mid with over 60 caps for the Brazilian national team. 
And the last top tier player from FM14 has a current ability of 162 in the game, and it is the much maligned Paul Pogba. With over 80 caps for the French national team, obviously having just finished up his second stint at Man United, arguably set to join his second stint at Juventus, having played 260 top tier games as well as winning a World Cup with France. FM15 saw a return to form with only one top tier wonder kid. This top tier wonder kid has a current ability of 158, meaning he is still a very, very good player. This is, of course, Yuri Tielemans a player long regarded for having the potential for being a world beater, a central midfielder who can make a pass with 40 caps for the Belgian national team. It's still only 24 years of age. He has plenty of years left to go. However, playing for Leicester probably wasn't at the top of his list when he was regarded as one of the hottest prospects in world football. FM16 didn't see a single player with a top tier rate. However, it saw three players with a negative 95, meaning they're just below that top world class standard. The first player you'll have recognized before, it is of course Tielemans that we just saw and discussed previously. Football manager doubled their bet and thought that maybe if he didn't can't get there in the 15th edition, he was definitely going to get there in the 16th edition. As we know, he hasn't quite achieved what we all thought he could have. Next player on the list has a current ability of 155 and was for a long time one of my favorite pickups in football manager. It is, of course, Martin Udegaard, the player with 33 caps for the Norwegian national team and still only 22 years of age, so there is still plenty of time for him to reach the top tier of football. Currently playing for Arsenal in the Premier League, he has long been regarded as someone with huge amounts of talent, having started his career very, very young, moving to Real Madrid in the 14-15 season, and since then already amassing 200 professional games. Incredible for a 22-year-old. The last player to talk about in FM16 has a current ability of 145, another probably disappointing outcome considering how highly regarded he was for a number of years. We're talking, of course, of Anthony Martial, with 20 27 caps for the French national team, still only 25 years of age, and having already amassed over 200 games at top tier clubs. We're talking Lyon, AS Monaco, and of course Manchester United. It remains to be seen whether Martial, at his peak, can deliver on that promise. Player with a current ability of 161, but still having that potential ability of 189 in the save that I'm looking at. We're talking about young goalkeeper Gianluigi Donnarumma. The Italian international goalkeeper already amassing over 30 caps for the Italian national team, having already played over 200 professional games from Milan. We're talking a starting Serie A goalkeeper from a very, very young age. There's still a very, very long way to go for Gianluigi. Moving on to FM18, we saw two top tier prospects. The first being someone that we've just talked about, obviously being Gianluigi Donamira. Being the starting goalkeeper from Milan from such a young age, he's been highly regarded for a number of years. However, the second player takes the cream for football manager, and that is, of course, Kylian Mbappe. An incredible player in football manager, and of course, obviously in real life, having amassed 50 caps for the French national team at only 22 years of age, and 150 professional games with a whopping 100 goals at the beginning of this save in football manager 22. An incredibly gifted footballer who is going to be his generation's Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo. A current ability of 186, he's already at the world class level, and it's all about how much further he can take that ability. FM19 saw no players given the top potential ability range, however, however, there were six players to note just under that level. The first we've seen before, I'm not going to go through it again, is Gianluigi. The next is a very, very well-known player, particularly across the UK. It's obviously Trent Alexander-Arnold, the starting right back for Liverpool, having already played 130 before this edition of Football Manager came out obviously having already played a number of times for the English national team. The third player is rumoured to be joining the English Premier League for next season. It is obviously Matt Delete, currently playing for Juventus. At only 20 years of age, he still has a long way to go in his professional career and is one of the best prospects at central defence still four years later. The fourth player on this list is Vinicius Jr. Having already played five times for Brazil and 80 times for Real Madrid, it's no surprise that this 20-year-old is highly regarded. Any player signed by Real Madrid from such a young age is likely to be a highly rated prospect. As you can see by his valuation, he is still a very, very good prospect in the Football Manager 22 game, having played at 125 professional games already. Another Brazilian and Real Madrid player on the list is Rodrigo. Looks like he hasn't reached the same heights as his Real Madrid teammate. Have only played 40 times for the club. As you can see, he does have three Brazilian caps and at only 20 years of age. It remains to be seen whether he can be a world-class consistent player. 
And the last player on the FM19 list is probably the biggest flop so far in Pietro Pellegrini, who has played once for the Italian national team. However, the rest of his professional career doesn't seem to shout out someone that is going to take the world by storm. He's played 30 times professionally before the start of the save and is now on loan at Torino with only five professional goals to date. Hopefully, with plenty of time left on his hands, this player can develop into someone that is a world beater. Again, Football Manager 20 didn't have a single player reaching that top tier category for potential ability. However, there were a number of players just behind. A lot that we've already spoken about here. I'm not going to repeat them again. You've obviously got Matty Dillett, Gianluigi, you've got Rodrigo, and you've got Vinicius Jr. How all players that were repeated across FM19 and FM20 being good quality wonder kids. Aside from those two, there were two players that just made the cut as world-class wonder kids. And the first being the man that's meant to be taking the mantle off Lionel Messi at Barcelona. Of course, I'm talking about Ansu Fati, who before this iteration of Football Manager, played 31 times for Barcelona with 11 goals. Unfortunately, injury has massively impacted Ansu's ability on the football field so far. However, he still remains one of the brightest prospects in world football. I am going to look forward to watching this player develop in the next decade or so. Finally, another central defender, we've got Jean-Claire Todibo. Highly regarded from his Barcelona days, his career probably hasn't kicked on as well as he would have hoped, as well as football manager would have hoped. Still yet to really find his feet at a start, as a starting player at any top-tier club. <clears throat> he's only amassed 37 professional uh, caps. In the five or so years he's been a professional footballer, obviously a long way to go for the 21-year-old. Still hasn't played for the French national team, which if you're a football manager 20 would be a lot of disappointment. This is someone that they probably got wrong. However, there's a long way to go in this man's career. Football Manager 21 finally saw a return to a top tier wonder kid. And of course, I'm talking about a man with a current ability of 138 and still a long way to go. Obviously, I am talking about Eduardo Camavinga, the Real Madrid superstar. Having just joined Real Madrid for at 18 years of age with already three French caps, this player has a long way to go. This is at the beginning of the FM22 save, obviously. <clears throat> A player with lots to like can play from the base of midfield or as a defensive midfielder shielding the defense. Long way to go and still remains one of the hottest prospects in world football. And here we are with Football Manager 2022. Obviously, we don't know how well these players have developed, but let's quickly look at the top tier wonder kids, the kids that this iteration has, and make a prediction about how well they'll do in the future. The first player is someone that we've just spoken about. But someone that Football Manager thinks will be a fantastic player in the future, and I do as well. It remains to be seen whether this player can get continuous game time for Real Madrid. If he can, then he will continue to develop, and he will be a global superstar. The second player on this list is Moriba, the RB Leipzig superstar on loan at Valencia for the FM22 edition. Obviously, having played a number of times for Barcelona before his move, he looks to be a player that can unlock defences. A long way to go, obviously, in his career. There is a lot to like about this young man. However, he's got a long way to go in his career. If he can remain injury-free and in the right club environments, the likes of RB Leipzig, the likes of Valencia, he will do good. However, will he get to that world-class level? Let's wait and see. And the last player in Football Manager, Football Manager's favourite signings is Mokoku. The very, very young German striker at only 16 years of age with already 14 Dortmund first team appearances before this iteration of Football Manager. Clearly a very, very good prospect. As long as he gets the game time, I do think he can be the next Erling Haaland. <clears throat> It'll be really interesting to see if Makoku can get a lot more game time now that Haaland has moved on. Do you remember many of these guys from your Football Manager saves? Who was your favourites? Let me know in the comments below. Now, clearly, Football Manager knows a thing or two about Wonder Kids. They got a good chunk of those right. If you enjoyed what you saw, leave a like, comment below, and consider subscribing to my channel. It means a lot, and I'd like to continue to build what we're doing. I've been Maynard. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.